Well, welcome back to Middle Age Moto. Today we're going to be doing a little project uh, putting the protector on the uh, oil filter housing. Uh, I went with the one from Desmo World, the original. Um, these guys spent a lot of hard time r and in this and uh, the packaging is unbelievable. Directions are very good. It comes with the piece itself. Let's grab it out. I apologize. I don't do a lot of these style videos. Here is the piece itself. Real nice machined. Comes with three new bolts. Longer. So what we're going to do is we are going to remove this, this uh, not the housing, but these four bolts right here. I am going to clean this off a bit because it is dirty and I'm embarrassed to say my bike is dirty right now. So we are going to clean this off real good. Wow, that is pretty darn dirty, huh? So we are going to, I've already cracked these loose, so we are going to remove these. Uh, you don't have to worry about oil coming out. Um, this actually, if anyone watched some of my previous videos, is a press fit piece. So when you take these out, I hope this video is clear on what I'm doing. I don't have a preview. I'm not sure how to keep the preview on of my damn camera. Uh, while I'm taking these out, um, I recently, I can't ride today and today's a beautiful day. Well, I could ride, but I won't. Um, I picked up a piece of metal in my rear tire, which was getting close to being needed uh, a new one anyways so uh, basically I went I go through my uh, local Honda dealer because my dealer is uh, in about an hour and a half away so I go to my local Honda dealer they did all my monster tires and they uh, let's see here wow that's gonna be perfect that's gonna look kind of good so um, they did of course all my monster tires so I stick with them but because the odd size of the Diablo Rossa Corsa 2's uh, it is a 200 by 60 by 17 so it's a 60 profile most performance bikes are 55 um, so I had to order the tire, the tire came in, but they had booked out. Uh, they're closed Sundays and Mondays here, and uh, they're booked out. Can't get me in until Thursday, which is fine. I just won't be able to ride this weekend. I was trying to drop it off last night, pick it up today, and have it for the weekend uh, to ride, but, you know, no big deal. So I figured I would uh, do a couple mods and, and put these parts on the bike. Um, so now all we're going to do is we're basically going to um, bolt this back up. I am going to use a little bit of Loctite. And the main thing that this does, this area here on the Street Fighter gets all gunked up from stuff being thrown from the tire, uh, just road debris and stuff like that. On the Panigale, there is, you know, body work above that. So I've also seen on the sump uh, pump, guys hitting this uh it is a low section i'm not really sure if hitting it with this is really going to make that huge of a difference <laughs> but it's going to protect the front of that at least uh there are other brands in this that came out but i went with uh, desmore world again because they're the ones that originally designed this and and you know some of the other companies for lack of a better way of saying it, copied what they were doing and uh, are selling it. I'm sure they're good products too, but I'm going with the original. Guys, he's actually, I posted this on the Ducati forum and 
believe the gentleman uh, that either owns the company or builds these out uh, was on there and thanked me for, for my business. So that's pretty impressive uh, that he's actually uh, involved. These are marked. Uh, there's one shorter one for the front because, of course, we've got less meat on the product. And then we've got two back. So uh, let's just let's do the front one first. Kind of laying on my side here, so bear with me. Uh, this is a quick project. One other thing, I've got a protector plate for the bottom, and I'll show you after this. For the bottom of the gas station, gas tank. Uh, it's really the main reason I got it was I want to remove my rear pegs, and I've had it forever, along with radiator guards. And oh, I was gonna put a little bit of Loctite on this. I forgot. I'm going to put a tiny, tiny bit. I don't even know if I have any left in this. I might have to get the new one out. Yeah, it's actually... Oh. Wow. Hold on one moment. This is a brand new one. So, I've got another one that is already open, so let me grab that. All right, we're just going to open this one up. I don't know where the other one is. No big deal. I'm always going to use it. I'm going to take a blade. All right. So, we're going to take a little tiny dab of this. too much on there but I want enough now I'm putting it on without the piece doing well maybe I shouldn't be working today on my bike So I'm going to need my tools here. I hope this isn't the... Of course, it is the 5mm, which is not out here. It's not out of this. Of course, the five millimeter that I needed was uh, in my office. I was using it for something else. And I will give you the torque spec. It comes with the directions with the torque spec. So the torque spec is 10 Newton meters. So what I'm going to do now is put this last one in. Um, while I'm doing this, I wanted to tell you a little bit of a story. I got that, that piece of metal in my tire and I went down to my Honda Yamaha uh, Sea-Doo dealer, I want to say. It's irrelevant. And... While I was there ordering the tire, I went up front to the sales department and acquired about a harder to get motorcycle. And there's two of them out there that are pretty hard to get. And I'm not gonna disclose which one it is. And they said, hey, we got one coming in and it's not spoken for. So 
<laughs> I put a deposit on it and got a loan secured with them because I am going to do a... I always use the bank's money instead of mine. I can invest my money and do more with it than, than that. So, I ordered a bike. All right. Took claim to a bike that is on its way. It is due in uh, the end of um, end of May, first week in June. Lord knows if that will continue to to roll that in that manner. But with that said, there'll be a new bike coming to the channel. What I plan on doing with that said bike is. I'm going to go on some mini adventures. I'm going to start focusing a little bit more on making sure I have videos made. Um, I was kind of running out of content and I didn't want to bore the hell out of everybody. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, taking some trips. Uh, we have the Talladega Forest, which is got some really cool trail areas that you can ride in. Um, that's about an hour and a half from here. I'm going to go to Lake Martin and explore around that. Very beautiful lake, big lake, uh, about 45 minutes from here, uh, dirt roads all around it, uh, tons of really neat stuff over there. So we're going to go explore that. I am going to actually cruise downtown Montgomery, it's the capital, it's uh, you know a lot of history here. So we're going to drive around down there and then we're going to... Uh, you know think about some other trips so I'm gonna take some some day trips um, I've been watching uh, the you know itchy boots I don't know if any of you have watched it. it's a young lady from the Netherlands that that does some real travel and uh, her season six was just inspiring she travels uh, she's traveling from the southernmost point to um, you know through you know all the the countries up through Mexico and you know Panama and all that and then she's heading to Alaska and the adventures are really neat and she takes the uh, the the non um, the non <laughs> suggested path she stays as off the pavement as much as absolutely possible so uh, with that said I'm going to torque these up uh, this that shows how quick and easy it was it's on I'm going to torque them, and uh, at that point, uh, I may put on and uh, take off my rear peg, which um, the rear pegs are kind of, they're easy. You can see the, these three bolts, but this one is right under the, the shroud, so I probably have to remove this uh, heat shield, which is actually loose anyways, and then, so I'm going to pull this heat shield off. I think it's only a couple screws. I'm gonna pull these off and then I've got a plate. It's basically a plate that goes in, uh, fits underneath here, just bolts up to these four holes. This is actually the bottom of the gas tank. So there is a chance, I don't even have a mark in it. I've got about 3000 miles on the bike, so um, not a big deal. Um, the tire itself, of course the edges <laughs> are like new. The tires wear down the center, so the tire, that's a wear bar, it's all the way to the top, but I've got a piece of metal in that, so I'm not going to be driving it. I don't personally patch my tires. Um, I just, uh, I'll patch a car in a heartbeat, but motorcycles I always just replace. Now I'm looking down here, sitting on the ground, how dirty my bike is. I, I'm going to scrub my bike today and do a deep clean on it and get it back to its beautiful glory, and then uh, we'll go from there. So... With that said, I appreciate you stopping by. This really wasn't uh, a major deal, but uh, there may be someone, you know, hesitant, thinking that oil's gonna pour out or you have to change the oil or, or something of that nature. You don't have to do anything of the sort. That black piece you see is, is press fit. And basically, I put three bolts in there to drive it out and you have to kind of put the bolts in and screw it out evenly and it, it presses out. So it's a tight, tight fit. So uh, with that said, thank you so much for stopping in. If, uh, if you'd like to see my future journey, please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, hang out for a while because I will definitely be having a lot more content rolling out uh, here real soon. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.